Hi everyone, I'm Doris from Do The Support Team and I want to introduce you to a useful feature we have uh, that can be a bit confusing, dynamic filters. Uh, dynamic filters, uh, when do we use them? If we want to filter uh, dynamic pages. So you want to filter one collection according to a category and you will display these uh, categories in, a sep in separate pages. So basically you can move between one dynamic pages to another dynamic page. In this example, uh, I took our clinic um, template and I want to filter doctors according to their departments. Um, so I already have uh, this uh, widget connected to a collection. Uh, so I can go to one dynamic page, pediatrics, and I can take a look at my staff. This is already filtered. So uh, this is the staff for this department. And if I want to go to pediatrics, okay, sorry again, if I'll go to senior care, then I'll have different staff. Um, and here in my staff, I'll have all my doctors, each one of them um, has its corresponding department. So this is a pretty simple example. It basically allows me to have doctors and uh, department services. Each uh, department is, has its uh, doctors filtered according to the category. So this is what's useful here. And let's see how I build this. Um, okay, so to start, you need to have two collections. So I need to have one collection that contains most of the information I want. This collection has categories and the categories will be the second collection. So your main collection, uh, this doesn't have to be an internal collection. I used it because it's easier for me to use data like images that we have, but this can also be a Google Sheet, Airtable collection or an external collection. But your second collection, the categories themselves, they do need to be internal collection. So this, you cannot connect one external collection to another external collection. I hope this is clear. This is not crucial for the example. Uh, let's see. Let's take a look at the fields. Uh, the doctor's collection, uh, nothing too special here. Uh, the only thing I have doctor's name, their title, um, their image and a short bio. And what you can see is that I have one field that is the same, uh, the departments, because these are my categories. So one field, the text field is something that I want to display to display on the website. Uh, so I treat this just like any other text field, but this field, it's an options field. Uh, and this is the where dynamic filters go into, into play. So the, I have two options, pediatrics, senior care. I can have more options. And what's important to understand is that this multi-select field is something that we don't display. So I could have called this instead of pediatrics and senior care one, two, uh, one and two. Okay. So I could have had here just one and two, and it would be exactly the same. Okay. So it is important to understand. Um, so let's call it again what it, it used to be. So it's uh, pediatrics and senior care. So what's important to, to understand is that this I don't treat this as text field. This is just to, to sort, to filter. So this can be one and two instead of pediatrics and senior care. It's just, it's basically internal use. 
and I need to have this fill correspond with my second collection. So if I go to my department collection, I can see that I have a corresponding field. As you can see, this is not an option field, but it can be, it's not important. What it, What is important is that I have a field that corresponds uh, to the other field. So, because I want to filter the other collection according to this one. Okay, so I have two collections and I will have two dynamic pages. I don't have to display both of them, but I chose to, to display them here, but I don't have to do it. So here, uh, let's go to my doctor's page. This is an dynamic page. I have all uh, four doctors. Everything here is connected to the collection. And this, uh, this widget is connected to my second collection. Okay, so I'm in the doctor's dynamic page where everything here is connected to doctors. If I look at my data, here it's connected to doctors. But this widget is connected to departments. And here, I, I want to filter this, so I go to filter and sort, and I, I sort this according to the department collection, department name, and I match this field to my options field, my multi-select field in the other collection. So now it automatically fit, filters this according to its department, which is pediatrics. And you can see that each doctor will have its own department and the same goes for the departments. So if I want to go from this dynamic page to another dynamic page, I can click and it will put me in another dynamic page. So this is something that wasn't available before. Now I can move between two dynamic pages. So now I'm in the pediatrics department and I want to look at my staff. And again, I can go into one of these dynamic pages. And again, on the department page, I have a widget that is uh, filtered according to the other collection. So if I look here at my connected data, this field is connected to doctors and please note, remember that I'm in my departments page. So this is not the doctors page, but I connected this to my other collection. And when I go, when I go to filter and sort, it's exactly, it's exactly the same. I match two fields uh, that are the categories fields. So these are options basically. Um, as I said, uh, never mind, let's continue. So, so this is basically it. Um, I hope I was able to clarify this a bit more. I think that what's important to remember, first of all, you need to plan ahead uh, what you want to display, what are your categories. Uh, the second thing is that it's important to understand the concept of um, options. It's about the multi-select field. It's important to understand that this is something that you only sort according to. So the content is not really important. The only thing that is important is that you match this field to a corresponding field in this collection. And the reason that they do need to match, so you can have one and two here and one and two here, but they do need to match because, because this, these fields are going to look at one another and create the sorting, accord, the filtering according to, to this field. So this is the second thing to remember, that the options field, it's just so you can filter 
uh, the content is not that important. And the third thing I think that it's important to remember is that it really enables you to, to go from one, uh, one dynamic page to another. And uh, one last thing uh, the, that's important to note is that if you're using um, if you're using text field here um, to match the options to to the second collection, then you need to use a simple regular text field, plain text, and not rich text. Um, so that's one thing to remember. But again, you can also change this into just like an option field. Um, so I'll call it options and I can have, uh, I'll, this is the multi select and I'll add the exact same options. So I'll copy paste this. And this is my department's options. So department options. And now I will just use options. And I will demonstrate this again from the start just to show. So here in filter and sort before I use the department's name, but I can also do department options and it will be exactly the same. So should I use pediatrics or senior care? I think uh, let's do pediatrics. So here, uh, before I use department's name, I can use department options. This is dynamic filters and I'll need to, and in my doctors, I'll, I'll, this will be the same. It will be my options. So which department the doctor is in. So this does, this filters this uh, automatically. Uh, I hope uh, I was able to clarify this.